At SIGGRAPH 2023, we showed interactive PBR material authoring using AI. From a simple text prompt, our optimized AI system generates seamlessly tiling materials, complete with normals, roughness, and ambient occlusions. To give more control, we also enabled creators to perform guided local edits using AI. For example, let's add some rocks to this area in the material. Unfortunately, tiling materials get repetitive pretty quickly. I wish we could add local details directly in 3D. With our AI Texture Painter, you can. Let me show you how in our NVIDIA Omniverse extension. First, I'll select the ground mesh, and then make sure it is paintable. Then, I'll open up my sample image. From this sample rock texture image, I can create a texture brush powered by AI. Let me use this brush to paint a stone path directly on the grass. Nice! I can see you're making a stone path. Uh, can you zoom in on it? Oh, interesting. The texture is not actually repeating. Uh, how is that happening? AI is generating every patch of the brushstroke as I am painting. Inference is accelerated by tensor cores in NVIDIA GPUs so we can paint interactively. That's amazing! What if I have a particular kind of pebbles in mind, but no sample image? Well, we can generate an image using text-to-image AI. Let me try with this prompt. How does this look? Oh, those look good. Those are really good rocks. Sure, let me start painting along the path. Oh, nice. This is uh, looking a lot more interesting now. And I can tell there's a seamless transition between the grass and the rocks and the uh, path. How does that work? Unlike traditional texture synthesis, our brush uses a foundational AI model, which has seen combinations of many different materials. It can fill in a realistic boundary between textures often found together. All right, this is looking great. How about we uh, paint on a more interesting 3D surface? How about this pagoda over here? Yeah, the pagoda is looking way too new. Let's add some moss to it. Sure, let me pull up an image. All right, I can start painting now. Wow, even with those curved surfaces and the various seams, the brush is painting with really minimal artifacts. Well, this is because in our method, AI operates in local render space, which is tangent to the mesh surface and not texture image space. Using NVIDIA's Kaolin library for 3D deep learning, we project the generated output to texture image space by rasterization and texture mapping. Awesome. So let's try and make something a bit more unique. I was looking at that house and thinking it looks like a gingerbread house. So how about we cover the roof with various delicious desserts? Sure, that sounds fun. We can use the tool to texture the roof completely from scratch. Let me start with some hazelnut chocolate. Oh, I love chocolate. That sounds like a good plan. Uh, you know, that brush is really small. It's going to take us forever to cover the whole roof at this point. Hmm, that's a good point. But I can increase the brush size so that we can cover more area. All right, much better. Adjusting the brush size is really handy. Um, but, you know, we don't want to go all heavy chocolate, so how about let's lighten things up a little bit with some frosted cookies. Sure. Let me pull up an image. Let me swirl this uh, snow cookie around the chocolate, like so. Oh, wow. I noticed the uh, brush is actually staying oriented to the direction that you're painting. That's really handy. Um, let's, let's give a little color to the roof now and maybe sprinkle in some rainbow candies. That sounds good. I don't have an image available, but I can generate one with AI. Oh wow, that's uh, honestly looking a little bit too delicious. The transitions there are great. It really looks like I'm making a real gingerbread house. Yes, I'm getting hungry too. Excellent. Well. Here we've demonstrated the first AI-powered system that enables real-time texture painting on the surface of 3D objects. This is just a first step that shows the potential of AI when integrated with fully interactive tools.
driven by artists and their creativity.